All right, so the next thing I want to look at is how we sort of tag these guys. Um, we looked at the area, getting the area and the layer names and sort of reading those out. But down here, um, there's a justified text that you can use. And what it needs is a location for the text, um, the values for the text, and then I've also got a size and a color here. There's some other options you can use, and we'll talk about that. But let's let's look at um, we'll look at first tagging the area. So I'm going to come in and what it's going to what we're going to do is actually find the point at the top of this guy, um, and it becomes a little difficult if you have different heights, right? But um, you just take the B-Rep and you deconstruct the B-Rep and you get the faces of the B-Rep. So basically that breaks all the faces down. And I'll turn that off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to project the centroids. So the centroids are these guys on the bottom, right, that came from the area. So it just finds the center of all those areas. And we're going to project them um, up onto the... Um, top. So once we do that, we get these guys on the top. So it takes us, but it also makes all these other little points all around. There might be a way to get rid of those. I'll have to look, but um, if you could only project in the Z, that would be nice. Um, so, but that gives us um, a bunch of geometry, right? A bunch of points in a tree, right? In trees. And so then we just deconstruct those trees to get the Z's out of those um, points. And then we just find a boundary, which looks at the high and low of each one of those indices. So it tells us zero to so-and-so. And then we can deconstruct that domain and it'll actually give us the ends. And we're just basically pulling out the high Z coordinates, right? And then what we do with that is um, we take those points and just move them right up. So we basically isolated the points, all the bunches of points we got here to just the Z coordinates that we need right here. Um, and so we preview, preview. And then what we do is we take the um, centroids and move them based on that Z coordinate. So if I preview these, there's all the ones that get moved up. So we take the initial centroids and just move them up based on those Z coordinates that we got rid of. And then, um, then you just plug that into the list. Um, and then we take the text, right? So we're taking this text here and we're grafting it into, so the graft um, divides it into different lists. So it will look the same as so this gets grafted. So it breaks it into a series of branches that equals this series of branches, right? Um, and then you can just set the size. So here's the size right here. Okay. Um, and then the rest of the tagging is pretty much the same. You can the only difference is that we need to move this one. We do all the same operations here, except we get the office bar, stair, dining gallery text from the Rhino attributes. We graph that just like we grafted the, the areas. And then uh, we plug that in for the text. And the only thing we have to do here is move it um, a little bit in the Y. So let me go ahead and preview that. So, <clears throat> Oh, I've got the size a little different. Should probably just have the same size on both of them, right? There we go. So, um, you know, you can change the size, but you can also come in and let's say you got a little bigger there. You wanted it a little bigger. You can move this guy. I just moved the uh, coordinate, right? So you can just adjust where the tag goes there so you can it becomes readable. Um, so that's that. And then the next thing is the um, Excel write. Okay.